Just a warning. So many spoilers. Hello, welcome to Geek Devotions, the show from a couple of devoted geeks devoted to letting you know that you are loved. I am Celeste, and today we are talking about everybody's favorite show. And if it's not your favorite show, I'm sorry, it's your favorite show. Talking about Doctor Who. The season finale of Doctor Who just premiered Saturday, last Saturday. So almost a full week by the time this airs. And it was an emotional wrap up. Like so many emotions, so many feels flying everywhere. All the feels flying and blowing up. It was bad. It, it ended with a quite literal bang. Even though, you know, this wasn't exactly the end because we still have the Christmas special, but it's the end of the regular season. In the finale, the Doctor is faced with meeting the Mondarian Cybermen again. And not just meeting them again, but meeting them at their very beginning, at the place where they became Cybermen. Which I find very interesting because they've never done anything about where the Cybermen came from. Their first appearance was they had been around for a while and everybody in the universe knew about them. So in the episode, we get to the climax, the point of things where everything is coming together and it looks like all crap's about to hit the fan. Who everywhere. The doctor comes to a point where he has no choice but to stand and fight or run away with the master and Missy. Because that's a, a headache waiting to happen. <sighs> The Master and Missy, because again, that happened, are trying to convince the Doctor to come with them and survive. Because it does not look good. It looks like everything's gonna, you know, just be done. Like, this is the end. This is the end of the Doctor. The end of the Cybermen. End of, which it's not, it's the beginning of the Cybermen. But anyway, it's the end of everything! The Master and Missy are trying to convince the Doctor to run away with them and save himself. Forget about the humans, let them die, forget about Nardole, Nardole, because that's an interesting name. Forget about Bill, forget about them all, and just survive. And the Doctor, in response, gives a speech that befits the Doctor. It's one of those speeches that you will listen to and you remember and you go, yes, this is the Doctor. This is why I watch Doctor Who. It rivals the speech at Stonehenge. And in this speech, he tells them that he's not staying because it's easy. He's not staying because he can win. He's not staying because he even really wants to. He's staying because it's what's right. Friends, as Christians, we are often tempted to take the easy way out of things. We're tempted to follow the crowd, to not put up too much of a fuss. So what if the Bible says it's wrong? Eh, it's okay. Everyone else is doing it right. Sometimes it's not even if everyone else is doing something or everyone else is saying something is okay. It's a matter of, are you doing things to the best of your abilities? Are you doing things in a manner that is pleasing to God? Do you show up to job, school, work, and punch a time clock, do the minimum amount of work, leaving whatever's left over for the next shift or the next day to be handled? Or do you work the hardest as you can to the best of your ability to do what you know you need to do and do it right? God wants us to do things to the best of our ability. He wants us to go that extra mile. He wants us to get an A when well, we could pass with a C. He wants us to put in that little bit of extra work so that the night shift doesn't have quite as much to do. He wants us to live a holy, righteous life that we can be the best that we can be, that He has created us to be. In Colossians 3.23 it says, whatever you do, do heartily as for the Lord and not for men. It may be easier to slack off and do things the easy way and not do things the way that you know you can do them, but in the end of things, do you want to be the master or the doctor? Okay, well that was your devotion for the week. Hope you enjoyed it. Do us a favor and make sure you follow us on all of our social media, Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. Just search for at Geek Devotions. Also, check out our podcast, 
uh, Com Talk. We haven't done one in a couple weeks. We apologize about that. We're really working hard to get that done. Um, it's just, it's been a crazy couple weeks, so we apologize, but thanks for being patient with us. And again, our next episode's going to be really pretty groovy, and we hope you enjoy it. Also, don't forget that uh, tomorrow we're going to be on a special live stream with our friend Francisco oh, and Paul vibe. from, <laughs> she said vibe, from uh, Retro Rewind Podcast. We're going to be talking about 1984, uh, the, the, the book and movie, not, not the year. So, but yeah, that's happening. Also, for y'all of you local devoted geeks, we are going to be at GeekCon this year. We're not entirely sure what days we're going to be there, but we are going to be there. So you should come holler at us. It's going to be fun and exciting. We can't wait to see you guys. Make sure that if you're going to be there, holler at us. Hit us up on social media and let us know when you get there. And we want to say hi and take pictures with you and all kinds of fun stuff. Yay! Now, are you two ready for the question of the week? I am quite ready and so is Ryohoki. <laughs> the question of the week what are your thoughts on Capaldi's leaving I hope that wasn't a spoiler for some of you I'm kind of if it's a spoiler for some of you get on the internet yeah a little bit <laughs> no um um he's had a great run yeah I, I feel like he's just now coming to his own and he's making a really good doctor and but I'm really curious to what they do with it I've heard rumors about some stuff and some stuff that people have been pushing for several years that I just don't think is necessary. Mm. But, I don't know, we'll see what happens. You don't, but You don't think it's necessary for the Doctor to be a ginger? No, no, I don't think that needs to happen. Mm. So, but anyways, uh, but I'm excited about um, always having a new Doctor and seeing the, the transition that takes place. I just, it's sad because I feel like Capaldi was just now becoming his own Doctor. Agreed. I do think that the fact that it was his last season mm -hmm. and Moffat's last season has made this last season so much better. I like, agree to that. The storylines have gotten way better. Like mm -hmm. they're back to what they were yeah. when I started watching. Yeah, absolutely. Which was more just kind of involved and, and it seems like it like they developed more of the season rather than just like, hey, here's a one shot, yeah. boom, done. So. We put dinosaurs on an airplane or a spaceship. <laughs> it flies. That's it. So, all right. Well, guys, I hope you enjoyed this week's episode. Make sure you leave your comments down below. Let us know your answer to the question of the week. And, uh, yeah, I think that's pretty much all we got. All right. So, stay devoted. Peace and love, guys. Okay. <laughs> there was a pause so you could laugh. <laughs> <laughs> I was doing good. <laughs> Okay, well that was your devotion for the week. Hope you enjoyed it. Nope. <laughs> <laughs> that was it.